Welcome back guys, this is Razwolf, and this is the first episode for my new series, Extreme Ant Farm. Well, it's not my series, no. I will figure it out, Extreme Razwolf, I'll name it that, because I do believe somebody already has a YouTube series called Extreme Ant Farm, and we really don't want to get in trouble for copyright. Even though I don't plan on monetizing these videos like this, I just don't want to get in trouble. So, starting out, we get some torches. <laughs> <coughs> I like that. The noob sort of knockback one. That's cool. At least we get a weapon starting, unlike in Ant Farm Skyblock, my other series, which, if you guys... Uh, I will have episode 2 posted tonight. Well, tonight when I'm recording this. This probably won't be posted till the day after. But, we have finally made some improvement in that, some headway. And, and, episode 3 has already been going. And I really made a good, good discovery on that one. I'm happy with how it's progressing. Game mode updated. An ender portal. What is this about? Oh, it's just bedrock with ender eyes. It's not even a real ender portal. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Geronimo! Oh. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got here? Okay, this is a uh, way updated version than what I saw. Mushroom, isn't there? Okay. Get first hardcore metal. Make a house and a base. Get first hardcore metal, what's that? Make diamond armor and tools. Make an iron golem rewards. Break upon completion. Oh. Well, I guess I can't really cheat because uh, <coughs> I'm being watched. <laughs> Ender chest. That's actually pretty cool. We get a free ender chest. It's over here. Uh, must set spawn there first. Go to regular ant farm. Only works if you started from it. Set spawn to regular ant farm. Hmm. Oh, so it looks like you can... I'm playing the trilogy pack. Not just extreme ant farm. <laughs> so. Uh, you can either start with the original or go to this. I believe this is the second ant farm map to come out. We got a food shop. Fail metal exchange. Oh yeah, so if something happens and like you destroy your metal or something, you can exchange for a failed metal so you can place it in this metal room. Um. Oh, you know, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Sorry. I do believe I need to... Whoa, what's that? I had no idea what that sound was. <laughs> um, the maker of these maps. Um, who did? Sorry, I should have had this all prepared and ready. I can just edit a lot of this out and run it together. Um, let's see. Oh, come on. It's not gonna, uh... It's not gonna show me, is it? Come on, yes it will.
Okay. Sorry about this, guys. I just, I know I need to re read this. Oh. Ant Farm, it, all the Ant Farm survival maps are made by NG Platinum. And if you want them, try them yourself. So you can go to mgplatinum.com or the Minecraft forum and just look up Ant Farm Extreme, anything like that. So, alright, let's continue. So this is the metal room. You come in here. Uh, you place your metals in here. That's pretty self-explanatory. There are four for each. So there are 16. So 24 dungeons. Ugh. <laughs> this will be a long one, though. And then, of course... We can go through and look at the other achievements. I think there should be other achievement things to do. Yeah. Make a renewable coin source. Make. Okay, gunpowder farm. Brew a splash potion regeneration. Make the nether fortress safe and loot it. That looks like the debug stick. Not saying that's what it is. That just is definitely what it looks like. Okay, we looked at those ones. Better quit running around here. Get to the top of Ant Cube. Break spawners. Complete the metal room. Place the egg on its shrine on the very top. I believe that's how you complete this. And go to the Forbidden Ant Farm. It's nice it's nice that we have some shops too. Currency exchange. Oh, so those are coins. So oh renewable coin source would be chicken spawner farm thing. Enderman. Okay. We can buy ore if we really need it. Armor, tools. Okay. At least we have a crafting table to start out with. So. Alright. So we will make some. Actually we'll just ah, we'll do that. Because we will need pickaxes to start with. hate that. I need to get a new mouse. I really do. And we'll need an axe. We we'll probably need more than one shovel, but we can't do that now. <laughs> Alright, so... I don't think we should start in the end zone. I know you're supposed to do these in order, but I don't know what order... Earth zone. I guess earth zone will be first. Don't break or place box blocks in the center area, yeah. Yeah, that's a no-no, that's cheating. So, let's see, what do you think we are in for? Hmm. Oh, look at that! No, Mr. Creeper. Oh, are you serious? There's not even a... Oh, that's rough. Okay, um... Oh, okay. So, my parkour is not what it should be. Ha, <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, you know, we could go into the mushroom zone. Hopefully we would find some mushrooms and stuff. I would need wood, though. Gotta go to the earth zone first. <laughs> yeah. It's a little rough. But, I like how they did this door. The videos I was watching, the, it was just a swinging door set. 
Oh look, there's a dungeon right there. All I have to do is tunnel through maybe down or vertically build down. I don't know. But there's coal. There's iron, I see. Um, can't see anything up there worth it. There's some iron. So... Boom! Yeah! So we need some stone. Because then we're going to have to make some stone tools, but I need more sticks. I shouldn't have made all this stuff. I did not think about that. Hmm. Okay, we could. I could make, what, four more sticks? So I could at least make some stone... Pickaxe. Hmm. We really should get down to that dungeon as fast as we can. But the spawners. Plus, I need. You know what? No, we're just gonna dig. I need blocks. I need stuff to be able to build with. I hear it. Do you hear it? The zombie? That's not good. No. <laughs> Come on. Alright. How should I get into that dungeon, though? <clears throat> oh, sorry about that, guys. Oh, throat's a little dry right now. Oh! Oh! Score! But we have nothing to cook it with. Okay, I can't fall down the side. Oh, and if I press... No? Okay. Yeah, I can't. Ah. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to go. Okay, make sure that's safe. That was a lot of stone. I should have used dirt. Ugh. <laughs> okay. That's okay. We got this. Maybe. <laughs> Where'd that crafting table go? Can I take it? I mean, would that be not okay? I don't know. I really don't. So I just, I won't. Yep, four sticks. Ouch. Which, that's cool though, at least. It's another, it's a stone pickaxe. And. A stone shovel, why not? Because that one's almost done. But stone in this is a, this is a lot different than the ant farm sky block. Sorry, no. Sky ant farm. Not skyblock. Uh, oh, there it is. There's that zombie. And now there's a creeper there. That's cool. Uh, there's that zombie. You're gonna come right on down here, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Go away. Go away. Oh, this sword will go so fast. Hey, that's mine. Give that back. Give it. Nope. Go away and give me it. And there's a zombie with a little golden helmet. <laughs> okay. Let's switch that out. We can take this iron real quick. Ooh. I need the... We need to find trees so I can make... Or coal at least. We need to be able to melt this down and make an iron store as fast as we can. Let's switch back. See, this does really just the job. It's just as good. Alright. 
Now we have no food either. Food, food and fuel. That's the necessities right now. Okay. Yeah. I decided to start up a second series just because if I only do one survival map, it's not going to be a very big series. Or not often, because it's challenging. <laughs> and if I get frustrated or... Ooh! Yes, coal. Oh, come on. Coal, coal, coal. Old man coal. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Where are we supposed to set up? Of course. Okay, let's hope that did it. I know there's that zombie up there and I don't want him falling on. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> We're going to have to use the coal very sparingly. A couple pieces to heat up the iron. And then most likely... Oh. Okay, we're just going to punch it. Torches. Torches are a must, too. Now, if we dig along the glass, since on this one you can't fall through... We should get right out on the other side there and uh, you know hopefully there won't be God <laughs> gravel you gotta love it that and sand those are my two worst just I hate sand and gravel no idea how many times I've been swearing a cave and BAM pile of sand falls on you from out because you're digging out coal or iron oh, especially when you hit a gravel pit that's the worst you gotta dig yourself out as fast as you can before you suffocate to death and you end up having 10 20 blocks of it on top of you just doesn't make sense <laughs> there we go I see more iron and a freaking spider but there it is that's what we need to get to so uh -huh. those are spawners too I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do this if I can take out those spawners so they don't spawn then everything will be fine Oh. This is a little trick I learned from watching other people do this. Oh, and skeletons! No! <laughs> All I have is a sword. And then what's over here? Oh, see that too is like, God. Okay, it looks like it's just the one. Hopefully, we can, here we'll do that. And then use some dirt. Just like that. Oh, okay. Please tell me that didn't just fall all the way down there. It did. Okay. So it looks like I'll be fighting this zombie for that iron. I 
I hear a spider too, I'm just not sure where. There's more coal there. I'll just need to grab that too. And I can get some zombie flesh while I'm here. Perfect. This is going a lot better than the first few. Okay. Should we just build a staircase up and down here or what? It'll let us collect some stone. But it'll eat through the pickaxe like crazy, yeah. Actually, no, we can do. Ah! Oh, wait a minute. What would you say? Um, one... What would you say there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve is... Twelve will be ground floor. So what did I start counting from? top. So, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's twelve. I'll need to go a little under but I can do this. I wish we had a tree, some wood real quick, so I could go cook this up. Let's see what's over here real quick. Just coal and what not. How do how am I supposed to Okay, this is gonna be definitely some getting used to. You know, let's just go for this while we're here. Shouldn't be that hard. Okay. And right to some iron. Nice. Okay, so now we have our soul pickaxe left. I really hope that doesn't go, because then we are, we are screwed. Very screwed. I should have waited. I don't know what to do if this doesn't pan out. Should we just go exploring for some wood real quick? Like, I'm not sure. Hmm. What we should do is that. All of his stuff disappeared? What? Didn't give me any of his stuff? Well, that's just not fair. <laughs> We're going to be super ninja about this.
Did I dig down one too far? <laughs> Look at that. Okay, I know the spawners were on either side, right? There they are. I would like to take these out. Yeah. Oh. Double spawners. Triple? No. Okay. So there's one. I'm afraid I'm not going to have enough pickaxe left. To do this one. But at least I could grab up this last of the coal and we will figure it out from there. Okay, so it should be right there. Okay, correction, right here. All right. Look at that. That was easy. Watch. The rest of these aren't going to be that easy. <laughs> oh. Okay. This, this first episode might be a little bit longer than normal. Normally they will be. Just because it's the first time I'm playing through this, so I'll probably play a while. There's zombies somewhere I can't see. See, and there's a bunch of iron and coal down there. It's coal right here. We're gonna do this. Kind of light this little bit of area up. And, and it looks like we're gonna have to get up top for trees. I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work. So we need to light this area up. Oh. But. Oh. Hmm. Okay, see, look, I see vines. I don't see any trees though. Where are we supposed to get wood from? That's all sandstone and wool. Where do we get wood from? Huh guys? Can you see? I don't see any trees. But there's food and stuff up top there. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> hmm. I wonder if one of these guys can give us wood. Food, failed metal exchange. But yeah, while we're here, this is a skeleton dungeon metal. So we can put that there. Let's see, are there other stores? Or is it just the three? Or did I miss one over here? It is just the three, okay. <clears throat> Okay, uh, tool shop, armor, oh, tool. Oh, uh, yeah, coins for stone pickaxe. Coins. This might be a little bit hard. 
Can I sell him ore? He'll coins for ore, it looks like. Hmm. Bedrock for bedrock. Feather, ender eye, that diamond coin. Ooh. Merchant Tangen, what the heck? Okay, so this is going to go real quick. So you have to have coins and you need wood. I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. <clears throat> Where are we supposed to set stuff up at? I mean, like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to... I can't make any torches. There's no trees anywhere there. Uh, is that a tree all the way on the other end? That is... about here vines water yeah I need to melt this iron up okay so we'll get over here and make a crafting table or make a you know what I mean why does it do that I don't know right how are we supposed to get there without a pickaxe? No. We really can't. I mean, it might... It might work. It might. Okay. Okay, and then we will go use the ender chest. No food, just zombie meat. Gonna have to have a steady diet of zombie meat for a while. Those, that, that. <clears throat> I can't use the sand. But we'll save the gravel because that could become a source of flint for us. Which there's two of right there. We'll keep that for building. And the coal will go in there to save. And let's go, shall we? Oh, look at that right there. That's not okay. <sighs> Come on, you freaking. Let's go. Yep. Don't blow up my thing. I like how you can spam in this earlier of a version without having to wait for that stupid sweeping attack. Yep. Oh, look at the zombie villager! It's Squidward face! Squidward! Hello, Squidward! Bye bye. <laughs> oh, and a frigid creeper! Blow up, blow him up. God, I'm gonna have like no sword, nothing left in this going on here. Yep. Of course. Come on. I really should get up there and torch that area with what ones I have left and just kind of risk it. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just awesome right there. Blew out some of that. That was not my fault. 
So, yeah. Are you serious? I will kill this- I will kill everything with a freaking torch if I have to save that sword. Ha! And then I'm gonna have to give him up to... <sighs> okay. So we need to go that way. So we have to tunnel. Oh, let's eat. Because that just fills up so much health. I've, I know if you don't move around too much, you'll regenerate more health. Trick to living off zombie flesh. Can I place torches here? No, I cannot, but I can there. Ah. Okay. See, already down. I healed some at least, though. I mean, actually, we want a few more hearts. And actually, since I can be against that, see. I got so used to if I got too close to the edge, it would fall off. Oh no, this thing's gonna die before I can get through there, isn't it? I will be royally screwed if it does. Don't do this to me. Oh, it did it to me. I am now pickaxeless, and I can't collect anything. Oh, this is gonna be rough. I got quite a bit to go through. Oh, once we get to that tree, though, hopefully it will give some saplings, and I will set them down right out there. At the beginning of this place, I will have a tree farm. Uh. <laughs> oh, this is rough. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and end it here. And I will just do a lot of this off screen. And I will see you again in episode 2 of Extreme Ant Farm. You guys have yourself a good night.